Hey guys, Dr. Reka Reddy here. As promised, I have a review today about two new products, Munchies EPS and Munchies Maintain. If you know me, you know I love Munchies and I'm always talking about them. So I was not super thrilled when I heard there was a new Munchie coming out because it's one of my favorite products and I didn't really want them to mess with it. But I tried the Munchies EPS and I was really um, excited. One of the problems we have is people chew through their munchies a lot. The new ones here are a little bit thicker. Um, they're constructed a little bit better and they have what the EPS stands for is enhanced posterior seating. So when we're trying to make some expansion movements to make space, they really help with that as well. The munchies EPS come in two different colors, pink and blue. Generally speaking, pink will be for the first half of your treatment and blue for the second half of your treatment. The pink is a little bit less rigid and more comfortable to start out with. And to review the munchie protocol, you're going to use your munchie every single time you put your aligner back in your mouth for 10 to 15 seconds, and then twice a day for 10 minutes each time. So the munchie EPS is similar to the munchie classic. We've got a larger slot for your upper teeth, a slightly smaller spot for your lower teeth, and this ridged area here, which is for your premolar teeth. We flip it over now we've got a little circle here for your canines every time you put your aligner in you want to use your munchie about 10 to 15 seconds just to really seat it so if you're in the second half of your treatment and I've given you a blue munchie or if you have somehow eaten through the pink munchie and I've gone ahead and switched you to the blue same procedure you're gonna use the thicker slot for your upper teeth uh, one other difference you'll notice is on the opposite arch there's another little indention which just makes it a little bit more comfortable to bite into now. So for demonstration purposes here, I've put on one of my old aligners. If you look really closely, you'll see that there's space underneath the aligner where it's not seating all the way. So you wanna do your upper arch for 10 to 15 seconds using the larger slot. And then flip your munchie over for the lower teeth using the slightly smaller slot. And your canine teeth, another 10 to 15 seconds here. And then the ridged area for your premolar teeth, the teeth right behind your canines. And now my aligner is seated all the way with no space underneath. So now you'll notice that my aligners are seated really well. I can feel it from the inside the, towards the roof of my mouth that inside part of the aligner is really kind of conformed to the inside of my teeth. And if you watched the previous video, you'll know that there's three reasons why you, we use munchies. One is um, accuracy. So we're trying to get that aligner to seat all the way down. Like I've said before, there is a little slot here for your teeth. So we're not only seating the aligner up, we're also seating it from the front. So it's touching the front of your tooth and from the inside. So it's touching the inside of your tooth. What we're doing with Invisalign or other clear aligners is we're trying to use plastic to move your teeth. So if the plastic is really not grabbing onto that tooth, the movement that we're trying to um, accomplish just isn't gonna happen. So the munchie is really gonna help there with the accuracy. Uh, the second thing that the munchies do is they're gonna help with efficiency. So using your munchie is gonna help uh, get the bone to remodel quicker, um, get that uh, inflammation process happening and get you, your teeth moving a little bit faster. Third thing that your munchie does is that analgesic effect or pain relief. So um, like I've probably told you before, it's kind of like a teething ring that we give to babies. It creates that bite wake for effect, um, giving you a little bit of analgesia or pain relief. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind, the new munchies are more solid and thicker, which is great because I'm not having as many people wear through them. Um, but if you have TMJ issues and you're chewing and you kind of just need to be a little bit cognizant of how your jaw is feeling. So if you're starting to get soreness, you know, take a break. Maybe the 10 minutes you needed, you might have to divide it up into five minute increments. So I don't really want you chewing for 10 minutes at a time twice a day if it's gonna be irritating your TMJ. Uh, you might have to kind of start off in uh, shorter intervals and then build up 
uh, that's something that you just need to kind of communicate with me about and we can come up with a different protocol. For those of you who are not having any issues with the chewing and you're chewing all the time and it's great, um, we do have what we call our munchy madness protocol, which is where you use your munchy first and foremost, most importantly, every time you put your aligner in because we want to get that accurate fit of the aligner. But in addition, instead of using it twice a day for 10 minutes a day, you're going to use it four times a day. Um, this is really going to get that treatment acceleration going. So those of you who are like, look, I want to get in, I want to get out, I want to move on with my life, you can try our Munchy Madness protocol. The next product I'm going to review here is the Munchies Maintain. So this is by far the um, thickest and most durable of all the munchies that we've um, had out so far. Similar concept, we've got the fatter slot for the upper teeth, slightly smaller slot for the lower teeth, and then we've kind of got that serrated looking slot for your posterior molar teeth, and then the canine notch here. So the Munchies Maintain is for people who are on, on their retainers already. So what you wanna do is use this at night before you, after you put your retainers in. You're gonna put your retainers in and then same kind of concept that you did with your aligners, 10 to 15 seconds of biting it down. So we've got our upper teeth. Lower teeth. canines, and then we take that little ridged area for the premolar molar area, What this does is this, gonna, this is gonna help your retainer seat a little bit better. When you've had your retainers off all day, once you're past your eight weeks, when I'd like you to wear them full time, there's gonna be a little bit of shifting during the day. So this is gonna get the retainers intimately seated onto your teeth and help with any kind of minor relapse that's happening. This is gonna help keep your teeth from shifting into a new position or going back to where they were. Um, the majority of the patients that I put into Invisalign our patients who had orthodontic treatment when they were younger and didn't wear their retainers and their teeth moved. So we really want to try to avoid that happening. Um, the way we avoid that happening is obviously a couple things. We've got bonded retainers if you choose to do one, uh, the Vivera clear retainers, upper and lower, and then now using the Munchie Maintain um, to really help prevent any kind of relapse. I hope you enjoyed this video about Munchies EPS and Munchies Maintain. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me about your Invisalign treatment protocol or about Munchies or anything having to do with Invisalign. Um, in the meantime, wear your aligners and keep munching.